Today I am here to discuss mode of action of anti neoplastic agents. First category is alkylating agents. The alkylating agents are a class of drugs that are capable of forming covalent bonds with important biomolecules. The major targets of drug action are nucleophilic groups present on DNA, especially the seventh position of guanine. Alkylation of DNA is thought to lead to cell death. Potential mechanism of cell death include activation of apoptosis caused by p53 activation and disruption of template function of DNA. Here apoptosis represents the death of cells which occurs as a normal and controlled part of an organism's growth or development. While p53 is also known as tp53 or tumor protein. It is a gene that codes for a protein that regulates the cell cycle and hence functions as tumor suppression. It is very important for cells in multicellular organisms to suppress cancer. In this picture you can see double strand DNA structure. Alkylating agents binds on the guanine residue at 7th position. They causes interstrand linking and cross-linking. This is the mechanism of alkylation by alkylating agents. Alkylating agent binds to DNA at 7th position of guanine residue and they causes alkylation of DNA which results in interstrand linking and cross-linking. Now we will elaborate this mechanism. Alkylating agents form highly reactive carbonium ion. This carbonium ion transfer alkyl groups to nucleophilic sites on DNA basis, which results in cross-linking, abnormal base pairing, and DNA strand breakage. DNA strand breakage causes decreased cell proliferation. Decreased cell prolification represents reduction in expansion rate of a cell population by cell division. Alkylation also damages RNA and proteins. This one is normal cell cycle. The DNA alkylating agents are not cell cycle specific but they are more toxic to cells in late G1 and S phase. This is the time DNA is unwinding and exposing its nucleotides enhancing the chance that vulnerable DNA functional groups will encounter the electrophilic attack that leads to its own destruction. So the concluded mode of action is that alkylating agents forms highly reactive carbonium ions. These carbonium ions transfer alkyl groups to nucleophilic sites on DNA basis which results in cross-linking, abnormal base pairing and DNA strand breakage. These all factors results in destruction of abnormal DNA. Next category is antimetabolites. Antimetabolites are structurally related to normal compounds that exist within the cell. They generally interfere with the availability of normal purine or pyrimidine nucleotide precursors either by inhibiting their synthesis or by competing with them in DNA or RNA synthesis. Their maximal cytotoxic effects are in S phase and therefore they are cell cycle specific. In this category we will discuss mode of action of folate antagonists. As we all know folic acid is an essential dietary factor. It is converted by enzymatic reduction to series of tetrahydrofolate cofactors that provide carbon groups for the synthesis of precursors of DNA and RNA. Precursors of DNA include thymidylate and purines and precursors of RNA includes purines. First of all folic acid is converted into dihydrofolate which is further converted into tetrahydrofolate in the presence of dihydrofolate reductase. Tetrahydrofolate converts into 5,10 methylene tetrahydrofolate Furthermore, 5,10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is converted into 10 formyl tetrahydrofolate, which results in 
de novo purine synthesis where the term de novo represents new purine synthesis folate antagonist methotrexate inhibits the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase inhibition of dihydrofolate reductase leads to partial depletion of tetrahydrofolate cofactors 5,10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid and 10 formyl tetrahydrofolic acid these cofactors are essential for the respective synthesis of thymidylate and purines in addition methotrexate undergoes conversion to a series of polyglutamates in both normal and tumor cells which inhibits the enzyme thymidylate synthase next subcategory of antimetabolites is of purine antagonists purine antagonists 6 mercaptopurine and 6 thiogenine are converted in the body to corresponding mono and ribonucleotides which inhibit the conversion of inosine monophosphate to adenine and guanine nucleotides adenine and guanine nucleotides are the building blocks for rna and dna there is also feedback inhibition of de novo purine synthesis next subcategory of antimetabolites includes pyrimidine antagonists Pyrimidine antagonist 5-fluorouracil is converted in the body to the corresponding 5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine monophosphate. This 5-fluoro-2-deoxyuridine monophosphate inhibits thymidylate synthase and blocks the conversion of deoxyuridylic acid to deoxythymidylic acid. This deoxythymidylic acid is also known as thymidine monophosphate and it is denoted by D. TMP. It is a nucleotide that is used as a monomer in DNA. Inhibition of this conversion leads to elective failure of DNA synthesis. I will discuss mode of action of antibiotics and natural products in next lecture. Thank you for listening.